Welcome to Overwatch, running in a virtual machine. Uh, this is at the lowest settings I could get it, so that I could get a playable frame rate with not very many frame drops. Uh, let's go to the practice range, because then I won't be holding other people back, but I mean, it's pretty easy. So. Uh, hero select screen. Uh, let's go with Diva because I like Diva. And because on the character select screen, her, well, as you can see, her mech just doesn't render behind her. Great. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, yeah, that's extremely graphically glitchy. It's hard to tell well where walls are versus where it's transparent. Uh, all the effects, as you can see with the countdown for the jump there, uh, their backgrounds are just not being rendered. The health um, things, you know, see at the top there, that's normally filled in with how much health they have. Right now it's just not being filled in, and you're just getting a trace around the outside. I'm currently getting like 60 FPS, but that's because it's literally as low as it will go. So this is like PS4 quality. And it's kind of jank as fuck. Got ulti. Uh, Kind of amazed that the little. Uh, let's see what does the. Yeah, the sprays just uh, seems to be lighting issues mostly and texturing issues. Uh, since that's what my spray is, little cute diva. But no, that's training bot, training bot, killing all the training bots. And then here, smack them about. Let's notice how the oil is like. Actually, that looks probably it's the only thing that looks fine. Everything else has this grainy look, except for the background, which looks correct. <laughs> because we were in the skybox. This overlay looks kind of appropriate. So yeah, this is what Overwatch looks like inside of a Parallels virtual machine. And Parallels kind of has the best rendering out of the things I've tried. So, I mean, it's not unplayable. Kind of is. But if you needed to, you could play like this. Kind of. You kind of would need to have, like, already know the game to be able to play like this, because just before I recorded this, I did play a match on King's Row Defense, and my team won, somehow. But I was... you couldn't play, like, Tracer. Where's the door? Because, like, if you go and play Tracer. Um, I find that aiming is usually a bit hard and my ping is atrocious like this. So unless you do like a proper graphics card to pass through, pass through to the virtual machine, and that sort of stuff, that's not going to be great. I'd also recommend if 
if you're gonna plan a virtual machine doing a network pass through hardware pass through because the emulated networking has a bit of extra delay in it which is kind of annoying and frankly the game already has enough built-in delay mind you the server always sides with you so eh. Mostly for everybody else's sake that you do that. All things. But everything works. So if they just fix their graphics layer, a Mac port would actually be kind of easy. Because, I mean, they just need to fix their DirectX 12 weirdness. Well, DirectX 11 weirdness. Replace it with some OpenGL or Metal. I'd say OpenGL, just so that they can also release some Linux port, but eh. Overwatch running in a virtual machine can be done. You can still play with it. All the physics still works. You need to know the cooldowns because things that you'd see graphically, like the number of jumps you have. Currently, I've got three jumps, but you'd normally not be able to tell that because it looks like I've got none. Now I have none, and it looks the same. Whereas you'd normally have some graphical tell in the number of jumps underneath your dot, so. Thanks for watching this assessment of the Overwatch in a virtual machine. Please rate, comment, subscribe. See you in the next video.